right on the mark first ball but uh, Stanislas well they thought only at the last moment about going for the two they have to hurry it towards the end but they've made it safely and Stanislas and the Knights are up and away well that was certainly over pitched wasn't it and he's going to get four easy as you like first boundary for Stanislaus Bilal is letting go at the wrong time there Uh, he hasn't missed out two in a row. That one has absolutely flown. He struck that one longer than the midday hour. Right into the palm trees by the car park. And he's now bowled two full to follow it up. That's his favourite sort of bowling when it's a half volley. And uh, Chandiram, having bowled very neatly initially, has now gone for consecutive sixes to conclude the over. Just lofted over the infield, a couple of bounces and it will be four. Bilal suffering now. And that's a nice hit from him. Gets right under it. Six more. Well, it's over, it's just gone from bad to worse. Basil George gets under another one. Smashing it away. Wow, what a shot, a crack of the bat, like a ricochet. And the balls travel faster than a bullet. Go look in the air, shadow, catch it, there's a man under it, and he does take it. The wicket goes, and that's a, a good wicket to get, and at a good time as well. Sishan with the long-awaited breakthrough. It's Basil George is the one to go. It's got, it's got a batting, it's uh, got an edge on it, I, I thought, but I was wrong. No, the umpire's put the finger up. He's sort of given him out on the walk, the umpire there. Double wicket over for Yusuf, two breakthroughs. And he's doing what he has to do at this stage now. He's got to wake up and start playing some shots. And that's a nice one. Got into line beautifully and dispatches it. Well, he's picked that up well. Bale, bale, bale. Six runs. And boy, did they need a boundary there. At the end of that, the ninth over. Comes down the track. Good use of his feet. Hits it straight. That's a nice shot. This is better. And big arm. It's well bowled. I think that was pretty straight and going to go on to hit. The batsman is... <laughs> he didn't want to look up. You know when you know you've done something wrong and you think, I'm not going to look, Dad. I'm not going to look, Dad or Mum, because they're going to tell me off. Oh, well, <laughs> that's very well bowled. I think... Uh, the man who hasn't been out yet, Banneker, he saw that one coming and his first in instinct was that it's going to go past the leg stump. It's going to be a wide ball and then he saw it just come in and take the stumps. Well, he's had a hit and he doesn't want to run. <laughs> well, that's the way to do it, I suppose. And uh, <laughs> That's nice to see that there from, the, from Jojo. It's a little playmanship. Good hit. What was all that about? Well, in the end, that six takes the score to 112, so they did eventually get past the 110, but they really did make a meal of it. Well, there are various reasons why that couldn't be out, but we'll just stick with the, the most recently occurring, which was that the batsman was hit outside the leg stump. They took a single, and now Bastians is up and underway. Massive six. His favourite half volley, nice and full. Across the line. Improvisation there. 
trying not to hit it straight where all the fielders were, but uh, swung it away to leg. And there's all the proof you need that he's not going to hit it on the offside. Short, straightish, and he's muscled a massive pull over square leg. Shot again. Gunnatilica has worked it away very well. Uh, with all the booming big shots from Bastians at one end, Gunnatilica. Oh, he's played the draw shot there. And he's going to get another four. Much worse ball that time, over pitched. Gunnatilica is very strong. Well, I'm not sure about the first one, but he definitely played this one. It was a. As we say, Gundy ball, and it's been put away where it belongs, four runs. Massive strike, and uh, six more. Just for a moment, the fielder will have felt that he had half a chance, but uh, not even a tenth of a chance when Bastians gets it off the middle of the bat. And now his big shot down the ground. This is a chance to the... Long off boundary and it's tidily held, easy as you like, by Justin Shaju. And that brings Bastian's enterprising innings to a close. He's made 24 from just 14 balls and it's 39 for one. Right, now it's just fed his strength again there. And there's four more. He's so good off his pads, Gunatilica. I don't think there's a batsman to match him for that particular skill in this whole tournament. Going down the leg side, no, the umpire thinks it wasn't. And the batsman, well, I wonder whether match referee Rob Kemming might just have another look at those pictures because a very clear indication from Yusuf that he hit the ball. I have to say, it sounded to me like I did hear some bad on this. And that's absolutely critical. The best batsman of the tournament for the Crusaders has gone. Gopal Thakur just tried to tee off too early. It's only his second ball. It was a bit too ambitious for the situation of the game. Oh, he's moved well there, but he's found the man. Is he? Oh, yes, he has. Straight down his throat. And he goes. A very good catch taken. Well, that's more pressure there, and that was... Um, that Nias Mohammed taking a very fine catch. He's flicked that well. It will bounce once into the gap. Four runs. That's a very nice, competent looking shot. Outstanding. Very classy. No more than a clip off his legs in the air. Good wrist work. He's got hold of it. Is the man going to get under it? No, it isn't. It's gone all the way over. Two men patrolling there. Six runs. So he does get hold of one. But uh, one is not enough. Good shot. And there we go. That's the one I was talking about. The slower ball. Wicket to wicket. And he's bowled him. Clever bowling. Well, he just thinks a little bit later than I do. And so does Mohammed Bilal. I said he's going to get hold of it, misses it, got hold of the one after. In the air, and that should be a comfortable catch. And he had a very, very difficult one earlier on. Did the third man diving forward. Well, this one was nice and easy. Hit up and over. A couple of bounces for four. It was very wide and decided he'd rather have the runs to his name. Well, hit hard. And the fielder, well, I think it was a half-hearted attempt. Maybe a dive there to make it look good on camera, I think, because uh, I don't think he really was anywhere near it. Four runs. And he's hit that well, and it's a good finish. Well, six of the best. He's hit that out of the park. Well, there you go. We've said this many times in this European Cricket Series. Batsmen have come in 
and then uh, well, when the rest have struggled the lower end have turned up and played some great shots and you think well so the Knights remain unbeaten doing what they do best